We are looking at Jacqueline's Butterfly Above the Water, commentary by Coach Chris. So far, what we're just looking at is a full speed run, just kind of see how our stroke flows. Right now, I like a lot of what I see. The big thing I'm noticing is just kind of timing issues. A little bit of a timing issue with the breath, a little bit of timing issue with the kick. Um, over kicking just a little bit, but it's stuff that we particularly focus on in this group. So we've already been trying to do some drills that, and, and teach them how to use drills. They already know to target these areas. One is breath timing. The other is kick timing. Um, also noticing a little bit with our pole path, but we'll talk about that when we get underwater. So let's go back, watch it at about half speed so we can get a little bit closer look at what's going on. So she's doing a good job of getting the head up early. But we can see just a little late getting the head down. She'll take a few strokes, no breath. The no breath strokes are looking really good, but that's typical this age. Solid recovery. She's got a good strong kick. That's awesome. Up early with the breath. That's good. Late getting the head down. And that's the key. And that's one of the things our drills, like our single double drill, our 2 2 2 drill, and that, that's what we're focusing on. Getting that head down. Um, you usually see one or both errors. Either the head is down late, like she's doing, or it's both up late and down late. She is getting it up in the right time, which means she's doing it half correct, which is good. Um, now we just got to get her to finish that breath and get the head down earlier. Nice little timing on the breakout. So see up early, down late. Now part of that, part of that is a power thing. So she's just having trouble uh, lengthening out that breath, that stroke. If you watch a really good butterfly like a Michael Phelps, uh, if you watch a video of him, you'll see he pushes through and his hands kind of float back behind him as he's taking that breath. He's not in a rush on that recovery to bring him around. She's in a little more of a rush because she doesn't quite have the a power carrying her forward, the momentum, the body weight, and the drive of the kick to carry her forward so she can actually take that breath and be a little more deliberate with those recovery, with the arms on the recovery. Instead, she's kind of taking the breath and trying to get the arms over using a lot less momentum than a Michael Phelps will have. As she gets bigger, as she gets older, she'll have more and more control over that. Right now, we do drills to help her with it and get her to understand how important it is. But as she grows, understand that that stuff gets easier for her to do. Again, heads up early, perfect timing. Heads down late. That's a big thing for the timing for that. Now, the other thing I'm noticing is if you watch, her hands are coming in really narrow. I think we got a good look at it on the other way. So... Yeah, let's see if we can get one a little closer. She can pull. If you see her hands up front are, it's a little bit tough to see with that splash. And the splash is part of the problem. But her hands are getting in nice. It's just they're getting too close together. On that butterfly, we do not want to reach in front of the face. We don't want to reach within the shoulders. We want to be... And we talk about this in our other strokes. For butterfly, we want to be like a real narrow, a real narrow Y when we're reaching into the water. So outside of those shoulders, not straight down the shoulders, not within the shoulders. And right now, if you watch how she's swimming, and again, we talk about this all the time, she, her hands are coming together. And they're not quite touching, but they're pretty close. And she's in that A shape. And that is just not as, as good a shape to be in because what happens is she's disturbing the water she's about to pass through. And when you have water all mixed up 
and, and you just slapped your arm against it and it's swirling around, it's harder for her to pass through. So she's creating more drag, even though her stroke's pretty streamlined. Now that she's stirred that water up in her face and shoulders about to pass through and her body passes through, it's going to make it harder for her to uh, cut through without dragging. So she's just recovering a bit too far. We want to stay a little wider out front. You'll see she comes in and then kind of sweeps back out. And the sweep's pretty good, but she doesn't want to travel that far in the sweep. So I really like what I'm seeing with her butterfly above water. The timing of the head, again, it's not something that really concerns me quite so much because I expect that. In fact, I expect her to be late on the front end as opposed to just late uh, early on, uh, late on the back end. But right now, we do most our drills are designed to address that. So as we go through the season, that should be something that, that uh, gets a little better, uh, especially as she pays attention to those drills and actually uses them correctly. Um, single double is a big one, 2-2-2 two, 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 or 3-3-3, three, 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 those sorts of drills. They're really designed for her to time that breath. So we want the head up early, and we want the head down early. And right now, her head's up early. Her head's down late. So let's take a look underwater and watch her pull path a little bit. And let's talk about the timing of her kick. <laughs> 